Hello everyone, it's Bofi. How are you doing? Welcome back to Dirty Split. Wanna click adventure game? We uh, checked the stuff in the in the locker last time, right? So there's a catalog. Let's check that out. That's the travel catalog from Joe Costafiore's locker. Pretty heavy. Pages 316 to 320 have been ripped out. On the very last page is the publisher's address and phone number. Maybe we should give him a call? Who should I call? The... Oh, Genevieve. Vanderbilt residence. Good evening. Good evening, Mrs. Vanderbilt. This is Al Baxter. How are you and your daughter? All our hopes rest on you, Mr. Baxter. Please hurry with your investigation. I was able to find out a couple of things. Please enlighten me. I'm afraid there are some things about Dr. Bedford's past which you don't know yet. It would take too long to explain it all over the phone, and I'm in a hurry. I'll tell you everything once I'm back in Los Angeles. I have to go. Goodbye, Mrs. Vanderbilt. Goodbye, Mr. Baxter. <laughs> it seemed a bit fruitless, but okay. Up and away travel agency. My name is Tiffany. How may I be of service? Hello, Tiffany. I have your current North American travel catalog here. Unfortunately, it's missing a few pages. We'd be happy to send you a new catalog right away, sir. Thanks, but it would be just as good if you could tell me what's on the missing pages. Certainly, sir. Which pages are you inquiring about? Page 316 to 320. A moment, please, sir. Ah, yes. Here, the enchanting winter world of Aspen. Plunge into the mountain's pristine beauty. Feel the adrenaline rush as you speed down the slopes. Let eventful days fade away over hot cocoa and enjoy the peace and isolation of your own mountain lodge. Wonderful, thank you. You've been a big help, Tiffany. Gladly, sir. Goodbye. Remote mountain lodge in Aspen, huh? Sounds just like the doctor. Yeah, pretty sure we can go there now. This might be a long shot, but the travel catalog is the only lead I have. Let's see if this will finally take me to Bedford. Who are you? What? Are you following me? Why? Who was that? This should be it. The lady down at the hotel reception recognized Bedford's photo and sent me here. Let's see. So what can we do here? There must be a beautiful panoramic view over the entire valley from inside. It says Rent-A-Cat snowmobiles on it. Out here in the mountains, snowmobiles are the only useful way to get around. There's nothing else. I mean, there's a night sky. A wonderful clear night. <coughs> Out here in the mountains, there's hardly any artificial light that would obscure the view of the stars. What about that door? The door is locked. Can we knock? Who's there? Um... Denise sent me. Denise sent me, Mr. Bedford. She's convinced of your death and very upset over it. Denise. Come in. Is that also a reference to Legislative Larry, where the password is uh, Ken sent me? How is Denise? Just as you'd expect under the circumstances. She's despaired and confused. I never wanted to hurt her. That was never my intention. Denise isn't the only one whose life you messed up. Your brother is dead, and Walter Vanderbilt is stuck in jail because of it. What? Walter? What does he have to do with anything? The police think he's murdered you. Oh, that... It was never planned this way. Oh, God. None of this was planned. Everything got out of hand, I... Oh, God. Why did you kill your brother? It was an accident. I... I really didn't want to... Well didn't know what to do. I reacted instinctively and... Oh God, what was I thinking? Pull yourself together. 
Let's take it from the start. Joe was your twin brother, yes? Yes. Yes, that's right. As unlikely as that may seem today, we grew up together in Jersey. Joe always had the wrong friends and kept being roped into things. He often took advantage of our semblance in the process. I was always a scapegoat for his monkey business. It started with petty thefts. Soon it was cars and, and then more. He slipped deeper and deeper into this world. He kept pulling me down with him. Until you fled from home. Exactly. I ran off as soon as I could. I just wanted to get out of all that before there was no way out. I went to California, changed my name and earned a medical degree. And then the world caught up with you. Unfortunately, yes. Joe somehow managed to track me down when he was in Vegas. Damn coincidence. He kept calling my practice over and over and over again. I told him it was all over. I didn't want anything to do with him or his monkey business. And then, one night, he was standing right there in my office. He tried to coax me into something. To use me as a scapegoat again. He got into a fierce fight. We were at each other's throats and... And then... Then you killed him. I didn't want to. I, I didn't think about it. Suddenly, I had this paperweight in my hand and... Joe was lying there. Dead. I see. Who ransacked your practice then? I did. I panicked. Didn't know what to do at first. But I knew then that the life I knew was over. So, I thought I'd make it look like a burglar. Joe still looked just like me. And everyone would mistake him for me. I wanted to flee. Have the world believe I was dead? For a while, it worked, too. But Walter Vanderbilt had to pay the price. Damn. It went all wrong. Why did you break off your engagement to Denise? Denise. She didn't know a thing about my past. The last thing I wanted was to drag her into this. Like I'd always been dragged into things. When Joe discovered me and started calling me, I had to make a decision. Either I tell Denise everything and endanger her in the process, or I keep my distance from her in order to protect her. So I decided to cut her off for her protection. How did you come into possession of your brother's money? Before we got into the fight, Joe told me he was a courier for the Mafia. He tried to lure me into it with promises of big money. He also mentioned a locker in McCurran Airport. Later, when he was lying at my feet, I saw the piece of paper beneath him with a combination on it. Suddenly, I was on the run and assumed dead. I could use the money. I could hardly make a withdrawal from my bank account post-mortem, so I ripped off the piece of paper and flew to Vegas. And where is the money now? That, Mr. Baxter, is something I'd like to know, too. Throw your piece on the floor. What? Over to the couch. Now. This is a different voice. Oh, there we go. I hope you'll excuse our sudden entrance, but I'm sure you'll understand that we need to protect our financial interests. How, how did you find me? You have Mr. Baxter here to thank for that. Thanks to his investigation, you were brought to our attention. We've been tracking him for a while. I should have known. So, Mr. Bedford, where is the money? It... I... As soon as you tell them what they want to know, we're both dead. Shut up! You'll both be dead if you don't stop talking. Gentlemen, please. I'm sure we can resolve this situation in everybody's best interest. Without resorting to physical violence. Uh, can we? What should we do? Firecrackers. How is that supposed to I don't know. Throw it into fire? Oh. <laughs> that actually worked. <laughs> okay. Hey, doggy. Right, so now we're here in the, I don't know, the cable card? What are we doing here? Can we? Ooh, what is that? Toolbox. Someone left the toolbox here. Probably one of the service technicians. Can we use it? Hmm, a funnel. They probably use it to refill the machines with oil. Cutting pliers. These could come in handy. There's nothing else of interest in the toolbox. 
All right, what about this here? Looks like the direction lever for the cable cars. Move it. The lever won't budge. I guess it only works when the machine is running. I won't be able to open this with my bare hands. No, but I'm pretty sure that we can use those pliers. The lock is too hefty oh. to cut it open with small pliers. I'll cut a piece of wire out. That works. So now we got a piece of wire. Can we use that as a lockpick? Maybe I can use the wire as uh -huh. a lockpick. That was easy. Press the button. All right. The station's running now. Use the lever. Out of way. That way. Let's go, buddy. It's time to go. Come on, doctor. Let's get out of here. That works. How are you? I just want all of this to end. It will soon. You do realize that I'll have to turn you over to the police when this is over. I know, but now the Mafia is after me. I'd prefer a jail cell to a cold death in the snow any time. Besides, I'm sick of fleeing. I've been fleeing my whole life. It would be nice if all this stopped. I could finally get some rest. Even if that would have to be in prison. I see. Do you think we'll make it? I'm working on it. I am working on it. What happened? We got stuck. Why did we stop? I'm afraid your pursuers caught up with us. Now that trapped up there. Come on, let's get those bastards back down here. No. If I get a chance to lay my hands on them, I'll cut them open. God dang it, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. What do we do now? We need to get out of here somehow. What about this emergency box? There are emergency utensils in the box. Get the hammer? Um... This is the emergency hatch. Locked, unfortunately. Wait, but... Can we not just open it? How is that supposed to work? I don't know. Sometimes I, I have no idea, man. Hammer. Use it on... Let's see if the key fits here. Ah, it's a key. Alright. Jump out. It's too far down for me to jump. Oh, come on. Can we use this on the box? Let's see if the key part of the uh -huh. fits here. What do we have here? An oxygen mask. Oh, and a rope. Um. Can we use the rope on... Should we use the oxygen mask on ourselves? How come? No, that doesn't work. Okay. How is that supposed? To I don't know, I man. Can't just throw the rope down there. I should tie it somewhere first. Of course. The box is welded to the floor and very sturdy. This could work. Mm hmm. I won't throw the rope down as long as the gondola is moving. It could easily get entangled in the trees and snap. And the rope is our only chance of getting out of here. Right, so we need to... It won't budge. The door must have locked automatically when we left the station. We need to stop the gondola, but how... Excuse me? Should we use the hammer? Excuse me? Excuse... How is... I don't know how it's supposed to work. Sometimes I... I've... I've already unlocked... You did unlock the hedge. So do we have to throw something? No. I mean, pretty sure we have to use something on the door. Wire. Holcomb. Can we talk to you? How are you? Just want all this to end. Right. No. The mountain is covered in deep snow. Just one loud noise could trigger an avalanche. Hmm. Aha! Loud noise, eh? Do we have a loud noise? I don't think we have, actually. <laughs> Should we? Wait, let, can I just... Excuse me. No. Let... Throw something down? 
I gotta do something with that. I cut off the mask. <gasps> now only the tube is attached to the bottle. Okay. Funnel? I'll just put the funnel into the tube. Voila! An air horn. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, let's see if this works. Air horn. Good idea. But if I do that in here, there won't be any effect. Of course not. Except that both of us will lose our hearing. Yeah, we gotta throw it out. Maybe a heap of snow will cool down those hotheads in the valley. Blech. It works. <laughs> here comes the snow. So now can we get out? Use the rope. And then climb out. No. There we go. <laughs> Look at them. Looks like you won't have to worry about these three anymore. But there are more of their kind where they came from. I'm afraid you'll never live in peace as long as you're in possession of the money. Not even in prison. I just want all this to end. I don't even care about the money. I'm sure the FBI will be very interested to know where exactly the money is coming from. Who knows? Maybe they'll let you join in some witness protection program. Oh. Please. You know, Mr. Baxter. Mafiosi would have found me sooner or later, but I'd never have survived this without your help. Anyway, thank you. Don't thank me too soon. This is only the beginning for you. You'll still have to explain everything to Denise and the others, and especially to the police. Well, I better report back to Mrs. Vanderbilt. Whew. All the excitement. On second thought, I think my first point of action should be to find out where a guy can get a drink around here. <laughs> Hero dog saves three people. No, 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 no. Vanderbilt is innocent. Absolutely. FBI uncovers money laundering operation. Uh huh. Mysterious eyewitness. Oh, great. So this was dirty split. Short. Well, eh. not that short. <laughs> short ish. Point and click adventure game. Uh, found online. I, I also found it on itch.io. Pretty sure that I didn't get it from there, but I loved it. It was it was good. Puzzles were solvable. Good storyline. About the murder circumstances. Nice Blech. voice acting. Yeah. Everything looks like a break-in that exhaled, exhaled, exhaled. What the hell is exhaled? Blah blah. <laughs> voice acting blue person. Nice. <laughs> Uh, that was good. I like that. There's a lot of voice actors. Uh, well, there's a couple of same names. There. There's like five to six voice actors, but hey, uh, they did a great job. Really good. I only caught one uh, mistake. How about the key to Roy's to Lloyd's Roy's? My name is Baxter. I'm a private investigator. My mother hired me. My mother, not my mother. Hmm. I'm making good progress. Thanks to the phone call list you gave me, I discovered a hot <laughs> Oh, I love it that they put it in there with animation and all. It's so great. It's so good. Oh my goodness. Oof. What a journey. What a journey indeed. Local host, that's a good name. Sound snap. Yeah, these are just uh, sound bits that you can use. I've been using some sound bits from Freesound myself. Oh, there you was a baby born while the game was in production. Oh, yeah, and a very, very amazing big ass. Thank you from me to the developers for creating this game. Dreamagination Entertainment, you did a great job. I enjoyed it a lot. I, I, I'm going to look for more games made by this company. Because I had fun. Thank you for playing Dirty Split. Tell us what you think. Well, you, you know what? Go there. Do it. Go get the game yourself. Have fun with it. 
tell your friends about it. Oh, it closed down on itself. All right. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, leave a like, a comment, most importantly. Tell your parents about me. And I personally cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye-bye.